So, everybody, we did got, me and Sully, me and Sully's got them watching Cats the musical. And he wants to have his own song now. What song do you, what song do you want to be, Sully, before we get on in the review? Sully is a skeletal cat who likes to be fat and plum. Sully is a cat who lives in an apartment <laughs> who is the pride of your life. <laughs> is that what you like? Is that your song, Sully? Sully likes to get pitted a lot. <laughs> Sully is a jellico cat. Right, Sully? So, hi everybody, Martha here. Just got them finished watching the Cats movie that I found on the store. Um, the play came out in 1990. 1980, 1981, but this play, but this, this DVD came out in 1982, so a year, this DVD came out, uh, well, the VHS back then, but that's when it came out, and after me watching it, I'm hard to believe, it's hard to believe my parents let me watch this. I mean, this version is not rated, so when it came out, it was on DVD, it was on VHS, it was rated G. When you see what the characters do in the background, it is not rated G. <laughs> These cats are mating on the screen. It's hard to tell because since they're all costume up, but yes, there's definitely some mating. So the character, I'll have the credits going on once so you can try to pronounce their names, but because not every single character's name to get mentioned, but yeah. Because there's like at least about 15 songs in here, and half of them are about characters, or primary characters. We have the, then we have the chorus players, then we have the kittens. So if you wanted for this to have any type of um, um, plot, I would say all these cats are here tonight, and this junkyard tonight to be able to have their new life upon that old Deuteronomy, the oldest one of our cat, is posed to the side, who will be reborn into a new cat tonight. And all of them are introducing themselves and telling their story about their lives and telling you basically to old Deuteronomy why they are the ones to be worthy to be reborn. So yeah, that's the plot. So, and if I had to pick my favorite songs after rewatching this, it's um Rum Tum Tum and Mr. Mistopheles and Memory. Those are my three favorite songs, um, especially because um Rum Tum Tum for the longest time because my sister thought. He was played by, uh, played, played by Dave Bowie, because he looked a lot like Dave Bowie, but he's not. Not in this version. Not in any version, probably. But, and, but he's he's pretty cool, and Run Tum Tum's basically the one who saves, um, old Ronnie from, from the bad guy cat, um. See, these names are really ridiculous to remember, so, if, that's why I'm having the credits playing over, so you guys are able to say it, um. And, but the bad guy cat, who, after watching, before the credits came on, I thought was played with the name of the guy who played, um, from, who played Rum Dum Tum, but it's not. It's a different guy. But he is, um, the bad guy cat is still in the chorus cat, because when he's not playing the bad guy cat, he's playing one of the chorus cats. So, we got a narrator who, like, sings a bunch of the other cat songs, and he's, um, the, he's like a, a gray, white as tabby, and so, but Mr. Mistopheles is the one who saves, um, um, Old Ronnie from the bad guy cat after he's taken by the rats. I, like, you forget after you, because the last time I watched a um, play wasn't even this version. It was, um, I went and saw the play when I was in Tucson. For my um, high school 
for my for my senior um, present for my, for my dad. So it's been like 11 years since I watched any of it, and I missed the opening song that time. So, and I got I watched only parts of this. I need re re. So I mostly had to play in the background a lot. And the songs are pretty good, and a lot of times you think the cats are the same as each, as the ones that um from um. Mr. Mistopolis looks a lot like one of the other chorus cats, but they're not the same cat, according to the credits. And Memory, it's a powerful song, because what happens afterwards, Victoria um, welcomes back um, the, old, the, old, you know, the old cat, um, and she she is the one that gets to be reborn, because she's the one that deserves it the most, because she's been, after she retired, and after, because life will think, and our world thinks she did a lot of bad. She um, went and been a prostitute, and that's why a lot of the cats don't reject her. Don't reject her. And they accident and um, Victoria, after she does memory, accepts her back then, and she's the one, and she's the one who gets to be reborn. So we don't know if it's her thing that we don't know why she gets rejected, but we that's why we just we just think that she was a prostitute, but. We don't know why, why, why though. This is a theory that we, that us humans, have a content into ourselves. I mean, the part when she gets, she gets some beast to be resurrected, it's pretty sweet. And then the last song is weird because it talks about don't compare cats to dogs. And that one wasn't really needed, but so if you want to know who wrote this song, wrote this play, he based it off of an old um, book. That was um way back in the thirties. And I'll show a picture of it right here. And he and he's the one that also is the one who wrote um the play for um the play version of um Phantom of the Opera. Not the book Phantom of the Opera, the play the musical version. So yeah. So this is a great this is a great D V D and the Bride and Me musical is great. Everything about this thing is great. It's, and you just have to re-watch it a couple times to understand the plot. And you guys are probably wondering, am I going to watch the 2019 version of it? Well, I pro I don't know. Hopefully it's on Netflix, because I don't want to have to buy it. Because the way they make them look, the fact they got me and McKellen, can Marilla can even sing? We know Taylor Swift can, but can can can, can um, Merlin and I can Merlin Grand Gandalf even see? Like what the heck? So I get the play. Um, I'll give this play about um, an eight out of ten because it's you have to watch it a few times to understand a plot. But the songs on here are great, even though it's kind of it's, it's hard to understand what's going on. So yeah. And the dance scene's really great. There's one scene where there's like no singing, just one percent dancing. Yep. And Solly, he wishes he can dance like them, right? Yeah, I go like the I go through the round on me. <laughs> That's what Solly is, cause Sol. You should have noticed, um, old Duran. We doesn't even dance in the play. So yeah. And Hori is also fat like the big black cat one with a with a with a, with a um that has a spoon. So he's like those like the, like those ones. So what do you get, Solly? I give it a word five and finally we get to do a movie that has to do with Bailey about my not my kind. Yep. So like fair and subscribe guys. And I next one I'm probably gonna do is um probably come out before this one though, but be probably one of the crisis on infinite art movie one. So bye bye. Bye.